Hey, I want to improve my English with you. I'm Russian man who brings value through my own experiences and I learn English through comedy and I want to do this now with you, with uh, with George Carlin. It is a good uh, humor man. Yes, and if you want, you can subscribe to this channel and uh, leave in the comment section below what do you want to see or maybe what do you, what do you want to learn about Rush because I'm a Russian man and I can speak English and it will be a good practice of English to tell you about about Russia some facts and uh, maybe about my opinion about some topics uh, that I think uh, to you will be valuable. Okay, thanks so much and let's go to watching this. Let's improve our English. Sometimes I will not understand uh, fully, but I hope that everything will be fine. Okay, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for George. Okay. What time is it? What time is it? What t do people bother you with that? Almost 10 p.m. People bug you all the time, come up to you asking you, what time is it? What time is it? Bothers me, man. What time is it? As though I personally am responsible for keeping time. I don't know. Who knows? I got one of these, but I don't know. Nobody knows what time it is. What time is it? All the calendars are different. Chinese. Hebrew, Western, nobody knows when it is. Might be the middle of last week for all we know. <laughs> when are we? We know where we are, but when are we? I don't know, can't keep track, time moves too fast. Give me an example. There's a moment coming. It's not here yet. <laughs> it's still in the future. It's on the way. Here it comes. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. There's no present. People say, what time is it? Well, do you mean now or when you ask me? <laughs> There's no present. Everything is the near future or the recent past. No, welcome to the present. <laughs> welcome once again to the present. And now the all new. Whew. No wonder we can't get anything done. There's no time, man. <laughs> Every time I sit down to work, the time changes on me, man. So philosophical talk, by the way. We have we have cute little ways of telling each other the time. Very precise. We have seconds, we have minutes and hours, but... Hey, what time you got? I got, uh, just after. <laughs> just after? Jeez, I must be slow. <laughs> I got going on. <laughs> and what's your favorite period of time? Five minutes is pretty popular. You hear that one a lot, five minutes, five minutes. Be there in five minutes. Hey, I could fix that in five minutes. It's a good one. Fifteen minutes gets used a lot. Sort of official, though. I don't care for that so much. Fifteen minutes, kind of establishment. It's a quarter hour, you know. Little stage, fifteen minutes. Twenty. Minutes. Twenty minutes. Doesn't that sound sporty to you? <laughs> twenty minutes. In fact, twenty is so popular, it's often used in conjunction with fifteen. I'll be over there in, uh, I don't know, fifteen, twenty minutes. <laughs> My favorite period of time is a week to 10 days. A week to 10 days? Do you ever try to go home and mark that on the calendar? You need a rubber band. Some people talk about doomsday. Doomsday, I don't have that on my watch. Man. What is uh, doomsday? I, I don't understand it. I understood everything that he said before, but uh, what is doomsday? Kingdom come, you say? Some guys say forever. They use it as a period of time. I've been standing in this line forever! Look at this guy, Bill. He's been standing in this line forever. And he looks young. <laughs> looks fairly fresh to me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> then we have a little while. Just a little while. In a little while. A little while. What's the difference between a little while and a short while? Or just a second. Seem about the same size to me. And you got any day now. That's kind of a snotty one, you know. Oh, yeah. Any day now. <laughs> any day now. Soon. Soon has a lot of emotion. Is your mommy coming home? Mm hmm When? Soon. <laughs> Real soon. Soon as she can. Sooner than you think. Sooner than I think. I'll be back before you know it. What? Before? Oh, he did it! <laughs> it is uh, the most... Uh... 
how to say it, smiling. <laughs> I'll be there. Uh, like, one moment again. I'll be back before you know it. What? I'll be back before you know it. Mm -hmm. before, he did it! <laughs> Very imprecise. We start out, we'll get jiffy. How about a jiffy? Which is quicker, a jiffy or a flash? Jiffy? What is it? I understand what is flash. Flash is like poof. And uh, jiffy is like a gypsy. <laughs> Sounds like. I think there are two flashes in a jiffy myself. <laughs> but we come back to this thing moment, trying to decide, you know, what's a moment? How long? Now, give me a couple of moments. A couple? I don't even know how long one of them is. <laughs> I wouldn't miss a Couple. moment of this. Just did. <laughs> or did she? Maybe she only missed a half a moment. Or as some guys say, half a mo. What's that? Half a mo? Well, a moment. Half a mo may be the slang of those times of 1976. One third of a moment is a mo. So half a mo is one sixth of a moment. <laughs> Got that one figured out, didn't we? Yeah. I me for a moment. Logical thing. How about yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. And the day before yesterday. Doesn't that sound awkward? Isn't that sort of simple-minded? Yesterday? Cool, we got a name for it. The day before yesterday. It's not like a third grade thing. Let's have a name for that one. Maluba Day. Call it. In Russian language, we have an uh, easier way to say day before yes yesterday. It is позавчера. Was that yesterday? No, Maluba Day. Oh, you sure? Well, maybe it was the day before Maluba Day. I don't know. Yeah, we'd have to name them all. Well, my time is up. I just remind you of one thing. If you'd like to save time, don't let your watch talk. Ticks are cool, but it's the talks that are killing us. Talks that killing us. Hmm. Interesting. It is so philosophical uh, talk of George G Carlin, finally. It is uh, kind of uh, shows me more philosophy about time that no need to look at time, need to live this time and don't listen to time because if you listen and speak about time, then you waste your time. Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. You are a cool person. I hope so. If you want to, you can subscribe to this channel. I understood fully this comedy. It is about time that... Uh, what have I understood? I understood moment that... Uh, we can say that uh, what time is it? Because if you will say it is 2.15 or maybe... Uh, 2.15.00 uh, zero, zero seconds and we can say we can say sharp time we can say even time because uh, we have different types of time time in South Asia type uh, time in uh, America time in Russia in different time in different places of Russia different realms and uh, it is so like a uh, hard thing to say correct time thanks so much for watching i hope you understood this and uh, like it and enjoyed it uh, leave in the comment section below your questions maybe your recommendations and uh, it will be really interesting to answer to them answer see you next time you're a cool guy